making mommy comfy? Are you trying to make mama feel better, huh? Like, mama woke up this morning with a very, 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 very bad backache. So mommy is stuck in bed today. And Sasha is trying to take care of me. My baby. Oh, what a good girl. Yes. You're gonna lay here with me, huh? Yes. Oh, look, there's the other little man. He was in bed with Mama earlier, too. He's being a little crazy. Is he? Hi, little man. No, don't start crap. Hi, boy. Sasha. Concentrate on Mommy. <laughs> My baby girl. Are you trying to help Mama feel better? Oh. Sasha, do me a favor. Want to help Mommy? Go get her some boiled eggs. Yes, go get them, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's me Beth. Okay, so today's vlog is going to be about my weight, or not weight loss, my life journey. So, I have been working with um, agencies to help get my light bill paid. Um, today, I, you know, or yesterday, I got paid. I believe I already told you guys that, though. I got some money, so I was able to go do some grocery shopping, and I used part of the money that I got to pay on my light bill. So, I was told, you know, um, I made an agreement with this one charity up here, called North Brevard Charities Sharing Center to get um, assistance with the uh, light bill. Um, I, they got me to agree to pay one certain amount and then they would um, see if they could commit to the other portion of it. Well, today I had my appointment with them. Yesterday I paid my portion of it. So, um, I got, um, I got approved for it, and normally when they say that, you know, they're going to do the commitment, they make the commitment to the light company within a few hours or two days, well, they decided to make the commitment to FPL while I was there. So, FPL was telling me that my power was going to get shut off sometime today if I did not, you know, get $57 paid to them. Well, now I don't have to pay that $57 because the, um, the agency, you know, came through for me and she just looked at me and she said, you know what, I'm going to make the call while you're here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. She goes, because I don't want you to go home to no power, you know. I have been to this agency before, but I have not been there in three and a half years. So they knew that I was going through. If I had not been there in that long, they knew that I had been trying to make strides for the past few years to better myself. They knew that I was trying to work two jobs. They knew that Lizzie was disabled. They knew that I had a loss of income on the SSI. And they knew that Lizzie's dad stopped paying child support. And they also knew that I had decided to take Lizzie's dad back to court for the non-payment of child support. So she went ahead and blessed me with the commitment today. So when I go home, which I am 
on my way to right now for just a few minutes um, I'm on my way home to go eat and then from there I am going to the GED office in Titusville to, to, the, to the college up here to inquire about signing up for my classes. So I've gotten a small blessing today and I'm kind of nervous because I'm going to go sign up for my classes. So, or, um, yeah, so <laughs> I have to call them though first and find out exactly which building they are in. So, but I am going to take you guys along for that while, well, I can't, probably can't record while I'm at the, in the school or in the, that part of the building, but I am going to take you guys a little bit along, you know, with me. So you guys are part of this journey, whether you like it or not, you're subscribed to my channel. So you guys get to see my life. So, um, and, um, I think this is some sign from God, you know, that things are going to get better. So I'm going to keep believing that, you know, of course, you know, I'm always trying to stay positive. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat real quick. And then I'm going to go talk to the GED center over at the college. Sorry, I already said that. I'm just, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm feeling rather good right now and I don't want to blow it. So I don't want to blow it. I, you know, if, oh my God. So, and then after all of this happened, you know, I got a text alert on my phone and this week's paycheck came on time. So now, later on today, I'll be able to make my car payment and my car won't go into repo. Yep. So, well, I'm crossing my fingers on that. My car won't go into, you know, collection. So, I think this is a sign from God, guys. Really do. So, Yes, okay. Let me go eat and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys. Hi guys, okay, so I am back. Okay, so I actually did not leave my car. I stayed in my car. I, uh, I called the GED center, found out what I need to do to uh, get everything going. I was told I got to get a $30 money order, which I am now pulling up to Winn-Dixie right now to get. And, um, and they told me that I could come right away to, um, start my sign up. And, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm trying. <laughs> it's my second time making this part of the video because I started to cry during the first my first take on this second part and I feel like I'm gonna cry again I'm trying not to so um, what else did I do um, I went ahead and called in the car payment so the car payment is made I'll have another one due in like three days but I've got a little bit of leeway on it so but I just oh my goodness so yes so, okay, I'm trying to find a parking space at Winn-Dixie. And I also haven't eaten yet. Gonna have to take care of that. Cause, but I'm too excited, I just wanna get things done. I just wanna get it done so I can get it started. Oh, I've been waiting, what, two weeks now to do this. I even went ahead and ordered my uh, GED prep book off of Amazon. So that'll be here in a few days. I can't wait. All right. 
I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I actually have not left my car. <laughs> I didn't even go upstairs um, because I just decided that um, I would hold off on eating right now. I won't let myself go. I'll get something while I'm out. And, yep. So, so I called the college or the GED center that's on the college property and found out that um, the $30 fee that I need to pay has to be paid by money order. So I've got to go somewhere to get a money order. Good old Win Dixie is right down the road from Wa. I am so excited and nervous and scared. I feel like I'm gonna oh, keep it together, Beth. Keep it together. I really, you know, just hoping this is a sign. Please, God. So I um, went ahead and made my car payment. So the car is not in collection. It was two days away, apparently from going into um, collections, which means, you know, up for, um, or no, actually no, it wasn't up for, I don't know what that girl was telling me online, but on the phone, but I don't think she knew what she was talking about. Cause um, she said that it would, you know, it could go up for repo and it would only been 32 days out. And, um, repo law your car has got to be 60 days out so she I know that from previous experience so yep I've had pre repos before and I am trying to hold on for dear life to this car because it's uh, it's been a blessing for Lizzie and I so um, but anyway so I am heading now to Win Dixie to get the $30 money order for the GED class. And I ordered a GED prep book for $17 off of Amazon, you know, because I want something to study when I'm at home. So I am trying to attack this from two different angles. You know, a lot of people told me that I should just take the classes from home. But if I take the classes from home, I'm going to get distracted. I'm going to want to do something with Lizzie. Or I'm going to want to watch something on TV. I've got to go to the classes. i got to get, you know, out and do it. Or I will get distracted. Yeah. Because, you know, I will either get um, bothered by my neighbors windows going down I'll get bothered by my neighbors Lizzie will be in uh, in and out through the room trying to bother me <sighs> stuff like that I, I will get totally so yeah so I mean if it comes down to it like if my car breaks down and I need to take the online class and I qualify for it then I will but <sighs> for the most part yeah we're, we're, going, we're going to school we're going in to the school so yeah, I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm trying to keep it together. Yep, I kind of want to cry right now because finally coming out of this dark tunnel, I feel like it, you know. I know that it is not going to be a quick fix. I know it's going to take lots of time. You know, but the sharing center helping me out was a sign from God. So I have not officially quit my night job. I do not know if I'm going to do that yet. I am going to give them notice today, though, that I'm going. I got it. See it? And then while I was in Winn-Dixie, I went over to the deli section and I got me a meat and cheese 
little meat and cheese thing. Well, it's not really a little, I mean, like all that. For $6.99. So I figured I'm going to eat some of this now and probably finish the rest of it later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please don't tell me it's going to be hard to open because I need to eat people. Okay. I need to rip this crap off. Oh. Do I have, I have to use a pen? There you go. Oh, mama's hungry. Mama's hungry. Mama's excited. This mama is going to get some food in her, whether it just be some cheese right now. She's got to get something in her. And what kind of cheese is this? Uh, it is summer sausage, pepper jack cheese, and mild cheddar cheese. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need some honey mustard, and I didn't get none. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Give me a few minutes to eat. Then the next stop, GED Center. All right, guys. So we are on the road or on Highway US One, and um, the college is out by out past the hospital. So it's just a few minutes away. It's literally probably not even five minutes away. So I'm getting nervous. I know this isn't really the time to be nervous because the harder part is the actual test. But I'm nervous because I have to see you know, I found out I have to retake this poll test and not just the math part. You know, I am no stranger to taking this test, but I have put off taking this test for a very long time because of the fact that it's, I have failed every time. Every time. Okay, so this is it right here. This is kind of hopefully you know, comes up on you. Darn. Okay. I have failed this thing every time. Okay. And I just don't, you know, I just don't want to, again, you know, I don't want to. I, I just, I don't want to. I want to get, I want to get through it. I'm not the only one in my family without you know, their high school diploma. Um, another family member of mine, you know, is currently going to school for the GED. She is, she's already taken her test and did not pass the math part of it because the math part is now common core math. So I said, when she told me about that, I said, well, thanks for the info, you know. Common Core Math, everyone hates Common Core Math. It's going to make it even harder for me, but, okay. Building 6. Okay, I probably cannot record when I'm in there, guys. Oh, let me fix my parking job. This is a college and the campus police are, from what I've heard, little stinkers about stuff like this. Like not parking the car right or something like that. I don't want to get no weird type of warning. So, here. All right, guys. I'll show you where I'm going. Here we go. This is the building over here. It's the office. I said building six. Anyone else having anxiety over this? Brevard Adult Education. Okay. Welcome to Adult Ed.
All right, I have done it. I am officially signed up for general education classes, GED, and my orientation starts on or is on November 27th because of Thanksgiving and I also start testing that day and then I do more testing on the 28th and then I start my classes from there so yeah I am feeling a lot better I'm still very, very, very nervous about everything. And you can't blame me for it, for being nervous, because this whole, you know, this test kept me from, you know, being at, <laughs> this test kept me from, being able to really provide for Lizzie, you know, because the last time that I tried to take this test, I got all the way to the testing center. I got in the building and headed straight to the bathroom because I was fighting getting sick. I was going to get sick, you know. And I got sick and I turned around and drove right back home and I, I drove an hour to get to that test and I walked in the door and my mom took one look at me and she knew I mean I was pale as a ghost and I was shaking and she said you couldn't do it I said I couldn't do it I said it was so bad that I threw up you know because and then from then I just, I, I, you know, a couple years later I tried to take the classes again and then my mom died and everything went to hell for me. You know, my mom died and my sister-in-law and I were, you know, in it together, you know, and then when my mom died, I, everything went to hell. So, I'm just, I'm just really glad to, um, I'm really glad that I'm doing this. Sorry. i like, yeah. I'm fighting the tears and then they just came on because that, I got the receipt and I got, you know, it states that I'm signed up for classes and now it's real. You know, and I can't, I cannot, I will feel so bad if I fail it, you know. But this time, just like my weight loss journey, this time is different. I'm more focused in life now. I mean, I've got my memory problems, you know, and I have problems focusing on things for you know, but this, this time is different and, you know, and a lot of people in my life, you know, say, why now? Why now? What, you know, what is different about now that, you know, was, you know, that wasn't different back then when you were really struggling, you know, why now, Beth? Why? Because I was just, I wasn't ready. And now, you know, I don't think I'm ready now, but I am going to get ready, you know, it's just. <laughs> yeah, so I am going to, yep, I'm just going to, I'm going to give it my all, you know, because, this, this stupid, sorry, it's probably been cut off the whole freaking time while I was driving, <laughs> and I don't want to re-record this, so, oh well, so, Mm. Okay. You know, because I'm Lizzie's number one role model. 
and she has to see that mom can do these things. She needs to see it. So, and I kind of, you know, um, I'm inspired by her because when we were at her IEP meeting a few weeks ago, and they told me just how well Lizzie's doing, which I always, I've always known she's, she is very well in school. When she, her teacher looked at Lizzie and said, Lizzie, you said you wanted to tell mom something about your future. Well, you know, what did you want to tell her? And then she looked at me and she put her hand on mine and she said, I want to be a nurse. I'm going to go to school to be a nurse. And I knew that she would choose something in the medical field. You know, I was kind of thinking that she was going to go for uh, a veterinary, you know, but I hear the words that she thinks, you know, that she can, she can be a nurse. I, I fought back tears. And when she said it, you know, I said, I support you 100%. You know, so I kind of, um, she's inspiring me to go back to school. She really is. You know, and I'm like, you know, if Lizzie can overcome all this crap, I can overcome the fear of a freaking GED test. You know, I can do it. So I can overcome that. I have already overcome so much in these past few months and I have been through hell you know I mean I've been through hell Whew. so I am going to go home now or actually oh crud no I totally forgot there was somewhere else I needed to go uh, now I gotta turn my car around So, so today in this week's episode of Life Journey, you guys got to go with me to sign up for my GED test and you um, got to hear about my blessings for this month. I, you know, got able to make my car payment and my light bill is taken care of oh thank god you know i uh, i really hope that this continues because if anything else goes wrong hey guys sorry about that i don't know why but my phone cut out and it told me that my um, storage was full. That was weird because, um, because I just dumped a bunch of stuff, you know, literally, uh, last night. So, but yeah, so I am very nervous about this new part, you know, um, and I'm hoping that nothing goes wrong, you know, and nothing backfires on me. So, yeah, so, so, today when I woke up, you know, I was in so much pain, um, I, I did something to my back, I don't know what, but, you know, I was in so much pain that I had to take a hot shower and four ibuprofen to get to the point where I could maneuver today, you know, um, so, yeah, so, now that I've gotten home and I started getting more settled in, my back is starting to kill me again. So I just popped another four ibuprofen and whew, yes, so I am, <laughs> I just went and spent another $75 at Winn-Dixie to, um, because they had a great meat sale. Um, I'm not really feeling up to doing a, 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 a Winn-Dixie haul video. I'm hurting so bad 
So, um, but yeah, so um, I'm gonna call it for the day, for the, you know, this is, um, what, Life Journey Episode 2 or Episode 1? Uh, you know, um, but now you guys know and you've seen it. It's real. It's happening. So, <sighs> November 27th and 28th cannot come quick enough. I'm very nervous about it. And as soon as that GED prep book comes in the mail, I'm going to start really hitting the books. I'm going to, you know, go on to GED.com, though, and uh, do some practice testing. Not tonight, though, because my back's killing me. And that's that. So, all right, guys. It's been an emotional day. It's been one hell of a blessed day. I pray that the blessings keep coming. So... All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for watching. You know what to do. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of those good things, and let's keep this going. All right, bye.